The VCU police estimate that approximately 1,000 people gathered in the VCU Student Commons Plaza Wednesday to rally against Attorney General Ken Cuccinelli's advice that public universities should rescind their policies of anti-discrimination for the gay, lesbian, bisexual, and transgender communities. We're here to face an ongoing assault against vampires who feed, against, feed on the blood of the ignorance and religious intolerance of so many Virginia communities. Unlike the vampires of legend, these creatures who live in the darkness of narrow-mindedness and fear are daywalkers who can face the cross every Sunday without fear and use it to their advantage. Now, we fight another great civil rights battle, and in your generation, I have every confidence you will succeed. In the last century, the Stonewall demonstrations were the beginning battles. The person of Ryan White, a living testament that suffering is not because of supposed behaviors or actions. And now we all join hands to ensure that every American receives equal rights and equal opportunities and are able to live his or her life with dignity and choices. I will continue to stand with you to fight this battle. We have taken the steps together and together we will march forward until we can all honestly say that Virginia is a welcoming place for all citizens. If we can discriminate against GLBTIQSABCDE, what next? Should we stop teaching GLBT classes in class and thereby further marginalize these groups? Do we then stop teaching women's studies because we want women to be barefoot and pregnant? Do we stop talking about clitorectomies and murders of sexual and gender minorities? That's abuse! Now it's time for us to do our jobs, to speak out and to act. This means leaving this amazing rally and participating in our democracy by organizing, protesting, and going to the polls. This means continuing to define and empower, reaching out across our differences and celebrating them while actively participating in the struggle for justice for all.